in this demonstration I'm going to set, show you how to set um, a Swarovski into a pearl and then also how to make um, those pearls then into interchangeable earrings and I'll show you what I mean. We have the um, Swarovski set into um, the pearl on a wrapped loop. Um, I've then got a small lobster cl um, small clasp from the kit which I've popped on uh, which then allows you to change them to plain earrings or you could use um, lots of different coloured Swarovski and have a pair of earrings for every day but it actually looks like um, a bit of a chunky jump ring there rather than a clasp so I'm going to show you how we do this um, so let's get going to create these earrings these are the tools uh, that you're going to need I'm using the Dremel um, drill um, and this is the JM Dremel drill and I'm using it with the flexi shaft um, which means it's really easy to use especially for um, finer detail and fiddly things like, like drilling pearls okay so we've got that that's ready I've got around nose pliers you're going to need those and um, we've got wire cutters and also um, a pair of flat nose pliers so those are the pliers that we're going to need now for drilling the pearls I've got um, some of the um, pearl drills so um, I've got a 0.9 a 1 mil a 0.2 and a 0.4 and I always start with the 0.9 and work my way up to the to the 0.4 um, because that that's the best way to do that because you don't want to damage your pearl so you want to take it really slowly because the Swarovski is a 3 mil uh, round what we need to do is extend that drill hole so I'm actually using a round burr and what that will do if I just bring in um, a pearl here that I've, that I've already drilled ready, in readiness you see that gives us we've got the, the centre hole in the middle that we've created with our pearl drills but then I've extended that hole around um, to accommodate the size of the Swarovski okay so we're going to show you how to do that um, right now okay so if I just move everything out of the way I'll move those out right so let's get going so first of all what we're going to need to do is we need to put our 0.9 drill bit into our Dremel okay so if I just move these out of the way for now and I'm going to use bring in a uh, rubber block now I use the rubber block um, for lots of different things um, but this is a really nice one for drilling your pearls because it's large enough to hold the pearl on one side and rest your hand on the other side so then you're using your um, drill like a pen and it makes life so much easier um, I, and I use my Dremel on around about a 15 to 20 um, reps per minute and that seems to give the best um, effect when drilling okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill start off the drill hole on this pearl and then I'll move on and show you how to do the burr and to extend that hole but I'm going to stop talking just for a minute um, while I drill um, and then I'll talk you through it once we've finished Now, you can see from um, from here, if I just clean this up slightly, you can see that's the um, beginnings of the drill hole. I'm hoping you can see that. So what I would do now is I would go with, um, this is the 0.9, and obviously we go as deep as we need to for the Swarovski that you're using. So this is a 0.9. Uh, I'd then do exactly the same and follow it through with the 1mm the 0.2 and the 0.4 so then we're at a stage where we've got um, a drill hole that looks like 
this one. So this is the one that I've gone uh, from a, a 0.9 to a 1, to a 0.2, 1.2 and a 1.4. So this is a 1.4 drill hole, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so now what we need to do, we need to accommodate the, the Swarovski. So, um, as you see, the Swarovski is larger than the, the drill hole that we've got there. So, um, and we need to obviously create a little, oops, a little seat for the Swarovski to sit in, okay? So this is where the burr comes in handy. So we've got our round, round burr. So I'm just going to pop that in. So you see we've got our round burr and that's going to allow us to uh, make that drill hole, uh, make a cup for the um, Swarovski to sit in, but also we can extend it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to go in with the, um, with the burr and we're going to go in and make that hole deeper. I'm then going to just use it just to rotate it a little bit, just to extend the outside drill hole. OK, so I'm going to stop speaking and put the drill back on. Right, so what I've done is I've done that. Um, this is this isn't a job that you can sort of rush. To be honest, it's something that you need to take your time with. So as you can see there, I've extended that drill hole um, quite a lot, but it, obviously it, it was still uh, smaller than the um, the Swarovski. You can see not much actually. And all you need to keep doing is taking the Swarovski to the to the drill hole that you've made. Right, and just keep trying it and see how much more that you need. And you can see there's there's not much more needed on that, um, but you just continue that until you've got um, a seat large enough to to accommodate the Swarovski, as I've got here. Okay, so if I just pop that in, you'll see that that then sits nicely in that pearl. Okay. So I'm just going to show you how we, we secure that in place. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some um, hypo cement um, because for me it's the easiest to use and um, it's not carrying any weight. So it's really just to secure that um, Swarovski in place and it does the job really, really well. And of course you've got the um, precision applicator as well, which really makes life easier. Okay. Right, so now we've got a bit of the hypo cement coming out now. Always make sure that you clean this, this drill hole section. You don't want any um, pearl dust in there because um, obviously that will stop it adhering solid. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop in. You don't want to put too much because you don't want it to ooze out of the sides. I'm going to pop in a, enough there just to sort of flood that section. And then I find the easiest way to do this is to pop it onto my um, rubber block there, upside down. And then pick that up. So we've now got that secured in there. And I'm just going to tap that against the board and hold that in place a little bit. If you can see what I'm doing there. Just holding that and pressing that into place. And that Swarovski, then I would leave that to dry overnight, and then that Swarovski is um, will be set in there. And obviously, you've still got your drill hole there to pop on your head pin for your earring. Okay, so once you've done that, 
and you've got two of these ready for your earrings. Um, obviously, we need to make them interchangeable. So we need um, shepherd hooks. We need the little um, clasps from the kit um, and obviously head pins. Now, all of these are available in the kit. Um, so all we need to do is I won't do it on this one because that isn't quite dry. So I'm going to use the, the one that we've we, we drilled earlier. But just imagine this is the one with the Swarovski in. And then obviously we're going to just do a little wrapped loop. You could put a little um, little bead on the top if you if you wished. So to do a wrap loop again, we're just going to pop that in, make that angle, turn our pliers around, wrap it around so you've got that shape. And then continue that around so we've now got our loop just there okay I always pop in my pliers at this point hold the loop securely in the plier and wrap around now wrap around a couple of times um, and do the same on both just so that you know that it's going to be um, nice and balanced okay right okay so there we are so then what we need to do is take our earring finding, open that, pop in our clasp. Our clasp got a little loop on the top. And we want to pop that in, making sure that the trigger of the clasp is facing to the back. Okay. And then what we do is we open up our little clasp, pop on our pearl, and there's our um, there's our earring, and obviously uh, then they can be changed over. So you can have your plain earrings, or you can have your Swarovski earrings. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration, and I'll see you soon.